levels of organization. When building a city, you start with bricks. Many bricks joined together makes a wall. Walls working together make a building, and many buildings complete the city. The human body is put together in a similar way. Humans start with cells. Many cells joined together make tissue. Tissue working together make an organ. And many organs make an organ system. Cells are the smallest living part of an organism. Some examples of cells in the human body are brain cells, lung cells, and bone cells. When cells of similar structure and function join together, they form tissue. A group of brain cells is called brain tissue. A group of lung cells is called lung tissue. And bone cells join together is called bone tissue. When a group of tissues that perform a specific function join together, they form organs. Brain tissue comes together to make your brain. Your brain is an organ. Lung tissue comes together to make your lungs. And bone tissue comes together to make individual bones. An organ system is a collection of organs working together to perform jobs. Your brain is a part of the nervous system. Your brain, spinal cord, and nerves work together to collect and process information. Your lungs are a part of the respiratory system. Along with the diaphragm and others, they help you breathe. All of the bones in your body are a part of the skeletal system. Bones, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons give your body structure and support. So from smallest to largest, your body is made up of cells, tissue, organs, and then organ systems. These are the levels of organization. Thank you.